Welcome to the Rough Inlets Network. I am Mac, your host, and today I'm going to introduce you to something new I like to call Inlet Challenge. The game is simple. Five boats, one inlet. Who will reign supreme? We're going to start off with a center console edition. Today's inlet, Jupiter Inlet. Let's take a look at the competition. We have a Blue Water 2550, an absolute single engine battle wagon. So we have a Sea Hunter 46 CTS, a Bahama 37 that would prefer to get out of the inlet, a Midnight Express 39 and a follow, always fun to watch, the HCB 65 Estrella. Let's get the action started with the Blue Water 2550. If you notice, he's coming in from the south side of the inlet. He's kind of sneaking in around that bar on the outside that can definitely smack you. So far, so good. No issue at all. However, once you get to the mouth of the inlet, boom. Inlet throws a left hook, punches him in the air, lands smoothly, rides it out, no problem. Jupiter Inlet's not done yet. Going to throw a few more smacks at the blue water, but the inlet doesn't stand a chance. And he rides away cleanly off into the sunset. Nicely done, Captain. Let's take another look at that in slow-mo. As you can see, Jupiter Inlet, even if you pick a good line, will throw you absolute curveballs. However, this blue water has no problem flying level, landing perfect, and riding it out like a beast. Well done, Captain. Well done, boat. This round is definitely going to the boats. After the first round, the center consoles are on top by one let's get ready for round number two here we have the sea tonner cts absolute beast of a cat devouring the mouth of the inlet no problem headed offshore however you notice today the swell offshore is great and that outside bar is looking mean but so far no problem for the cat even with a nice punch of a flat wall of water on the outside bar, the cat eats it up, lands cleanly, dries a bone, and takes off. Let's take a moment to appreciate this beast stretching its legs offshore before it turns around and absolutely charges full send into the inlet. Not backing off the throttles despite the waves being thrown at him. Definitely got to give this round to the boats. Nice job, Captain, and nice job, Sea Hunter. So far, the center consoles have chewed up Jupiter Inlet today, but let's get going with round number three. Now, we got a Bahama 37 that definitely looks like it would prefer to be out of the conditions it is in. Jupiter is mean today, heavy follow, just looking to eat up something from behind. And boom, the wave smacks the back, eats the engines. Luckily, the captain gives it a little gas and pulls out of there, or that could have ended much differently. Days like these, you've got to pick your lines. You've got to stay on the back of the wave. However, once you get to the mouth of the inlet, that wave you were riding the back off starts disappearing, and you get weird stationary waves. However, captain keeps the nose up, keeps continuing forward, However, with that early smack in the ass from the inlet, I gotta give the win to the inlet in this round. The Bahama 37 needed a little more speed, a little more bow up. Let's take a look at the scores. Center consoles two, Jupiter inlet one. Let's head to round number four. Next up, we have the Midnight Express 39 in a following C. I can see the inlet loves this. Right away, dips the nose a little bit, throws just a little water over the bow. He's trying to keep the bow up. A heavy follow C, getting tight at the inlet. That low nose is great for speed on that Midnight Express, but can be difficult to navigate in situations just like this. Let's watch it unfold. Just when he thinks he's making it inside the inlet, Jupiter just drops a hole in front of him and devours that bow. You see the water flowing over the front there. Luckily that bow is closed and that bow is not filling with water. That's the exact conditions that causes boats to broach over that Jupiter Inlet is known for. 
With Jupiter Inlet pulling out its trademark move, I gotta go ahead and give this round to Jupiter Inlet. Let's take a look at the score. Looks like it's all tied up and it's gonna come down to the final round. The king of the center consoles the HCB 65. Slow rolling the inlet out of the gate. I don't know if the captain can't find the throttles, but this beast is moving painfully slow. Now these hulls are heavy, deep V, meant to run. You could probably do 45 miles an hour across that right now. For some reason, this captain is just taking his time and it is driving me nuts. However, even if you make it out of the inlet at Jupiter, we have a nasty outside bar. And as you can see, even with a 65 HCB, 2,000 horsepower, the wrong timing can leave you baptized. This round definitely has to go to the inlet using its secret weapon on the outside bar to literally smack the king of the center consoles. With that final round, looks like it is Jupiter Inlet 3, center consoles 2, which of course means Jupiter Inlet's taking the win today. I'm a boat fan. I wish they would have stepped it up a little bit. Hopefully next time. Next up, the captain's rankings. How well did they handle it with the machinery they had? Let's get it started. Fifth place has to go to the HCB-65. That boat was more than capable of devouring that inlet. 2,000 horsepower, deep V heavy hull could have crushed it. Fourth place has got to go to the Midnight Express. Got to keep that nose up. Jupiter Inlet was hungry and almost ate this entire boat. Third is going to be the Bahama 37 captain. He was doing pretty good, but just for a second, let that rear wave catch him. You never want to do that. Got to keep that thing moving forward. Tough conditions. Second place going to the C-146 CTS captain with that beast absolutely devours it. Came back for seconds and thirds. Nicely done, captain. I got to give the number one spot of the day to the captain of the Blue Water 2550. Single engine, rough conditions, eating it up, running a very smart line in and out of the inlet. Trimmed well. Absolutely fantastic job, sir. You take the win today. Hey guys, if you enjoyed the content, please make sure to subscribe and leave a comment down below. If you didn't like this, leave a comment down below. This is something I'm going to do along with my normal Jupiter Inlet content. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And I'll see you next time with a Sportfish edition.